Welcome back to Spotlight. I'd like to welcome my guest, Under Officer, Under Officer, yes, Under Officer Joanne Thomas from the, the Cadet Corps, BBI Cadet Corps, yes, and Mr. Major, Major Selwyn Rock, as well as Second Lieutenant Janice, Janice Smith, <laughs> my cousin Janice Smith. <laughs> Welcome to Spotlight. Good to see you. Uh, good night. Thank you, sir. It's, it's, especially, to be here. it's especially good to see uh, the cadets because uh, Mr. Rock, Major Rock, and I go way back. Yeah, definitely. You know, and what was the other brother's name? I forgot uh, his uh, name. Uh, Captain Gibbons at the time. Yes. Captain Gibbons. G Gibbons. Yeah. How is he? Uh, he's pretty good. Okay. Uh, he still here? He's not part of the corps anymore. He's um, moved on, but okay. Yes, uh, you guys fought really hard for the uh, the cadet corps. Uh, uh, challenge all the odds, and here you are in your fifth year. Yeah, how, how has it been? It has been a fight. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a challenge. Uh, we've managed to overcome, however, we are still reaching out to a significant number of young people, um, still trying to train, develop, and um, develop the young people into leaders of tomorrow with a sense of service to the territory and to others. How many members do you have now? We currently are around uh, 45, 50 uh, cadets and mm. about eight adults. Okay, and what are the adults doing? Uh, the adults, their main role is uh, instruction, uh, mentorship, supervision, mm -hmm. and uh, administrative, um, looking after the administrative side of the Corps. Okay. Now this is your fifth anniversary and you decided to have a kind of a celebration. It's a, sort of yeah. a milestone. Yes. What, what kind of activities uh, you have? Uh, you, I think you're the public relations officer, yes. Second Lieutenant Smith. Yes. So I, I will take that. Yes. Um, we're celebrating our fifth year anniversary. We're going to begin with a church service that would be at the King Garden Bay Baptist Church on the 9th. That's this Sunday coming. We will, we will start off by giving God thanks for all that he has brought us through. And then on the 14th, we're going to have a family fun night. And the highlight of that evening would be a game show, How Well Do You Know Your Child slash Parent. So this is going to be parents and children? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. We are, we are actually looking forward to that, and I think the kids are looking forward to that, too. Yeah, um, I'm looking forward to that, too. <laughs> okay, well, we're inviting, we're inviting, we're inviting the general public to come yeah. in and, okay. and, and, and this do And this is a new life. No, this would be at the Elmer High School. High School. Yes, mm -hmm. this is on the 14th of March. That's a Friday evening at 7. We'll be at the Elmer High School, and that will be the highlight of our evening. What room will that be in? In um, one of the labs okay. in, the, in the new block. Mm -hmm. um, and then on the 22nd of March, we'll be having a field fun day in Virgin Garda, where the cadets will be doing field activities in terms of map and compass they would be getting some points and they, they would have to um, locate certain points and bring them in. So there will be a competition among cadets and then we'll have some activities in Virgin Garda for that day. That was a, will be another fun day. And then on the 29th of March, we're looking at a drill-off competition with the cadets. Um, we have extended this invitation to police, fire and prison officers so the cadets will go up among them and there will be a drill competition. So who could match the best? Yes, who could drill could the best? And to make the, the turns and salutes and yes, all that kind of stuff? Yes, we'll actually have judges and eventually we'll have a winner for that yeah, competition. And that's going to be where? That's going to be um, in the parking area, I think at Wine Cellars, that's in Low Estate. Yes, yes. Yes, that's mm -hmm. that's where that will be. Caribbean sellers. Caribbean sellers, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, so yeah, so everybody is invited to come and take a look sure, at it. Sure, everybody too. is. Yeah. Well, one of the things that we realize is that once we put on an activity, we have a lot of support. So that is good. So we're trying to get the information out early so that our support can be good this year. That, sound, that sounds exciting. Yes, it will. What else you, uh, what else you having? Um, well, that, that's basically, we have something every weekend. That's basically all the activities that we will be having for that month. So we start off on the 9th with the church service. The 14th, we have the family fun night. The 22nd, we'll be in Virgin Garda. 
and the 29th to conclude, we will have the drill off competition. Okay, and so the, and, and the cadets are all going to Virgin Gala Bay, going to be camping out. What, how is that? What, what's, what the activity is going to be like? Uh, that, that activity basically will take them, we're going to take all of them up there. Um, they're going to be divided into teams, mm -hmm. and then they'll be challenged to find uh, points using a map and a compass. Uh, they're going to challenge to find certain points on the map. They have to plot mm -hmm. their route. Uh, some will be very far out, some will be close by, and they'll be weighted at uh, different point systems and stuff like that. And the idea is to get as many points, um, and who has the most points wins. Um, then we're also going to use that opportunity to also let the Virgin God of Public see um, some of what the Cadet Corps is doing as part of a thrust to rebuild the Virgin God unit up there. Because that, that unit um, has gone down significantly and we're trying to revive it uh, so that the Virgin God Sister Island can enjoy the same benefits as uh, mainland Tortola. So, so the, the, it's interesting. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking of these young people with a compass being. So they're going to be able to plot, establish their location, and find their way um, wherever they want to go by using the compass. Yes, you can take them to somewhere strange. Just give them a map and a compass. They're trained to find their way, locate where they are by looking at various points, uh, known buildings or something like that, or two prominent points on the map, and try and get triangulate where they are and then they can move from there to find whatever other locations they need to find. Okay. What are the other kind of training is provided for the, uh, the Cadet Corps? Uh, the, the Cadet Corps um, primarily is training um, is uh, centered around military military type subjects, drill, um, which develops teamwork and, and coordination, uh, physical fitness, uh, fit mind the fit body, the map reading, uh, we do field craft, which allows them to do certain military exercises in the bush, to be able to do section attacks and stuff like that that you will see soldiers doing. Mm -hmm. It's all part of the team building um, experience for them. They also do camp, camp craft, where we take them out in the bush, they're able to set up uh, living quarters in the bush uh, and survive out there with the bare minimum. Uh, first aid, um, they're taught first aid as well, so that uh, they can respond if there's an emergency um, in their vicinity. Uh, we do public speaking as well, which is very important. Uh, we do weapon training. They, they do get familiarization and training with weapons. And it is not to be soldiers. They never, uh, we're not in, intend to, we do intend to make soldiers of them. We give them a, an appreciation for a weapon. It is a tool and like, Every other tool that, that is available in life, it is who's behind it and using it that really presents the danger. Mm. You know, so they, they, they learn to understand what it is and to be safe. They will not use it if they're not able to treat it safely and be able to, to, to handle it properly. Okay. I'll turn to you, uh, Cadet Thomas, Cadet Joya and Thomas. You, uh, you, you, you must be a founding member. You, are you there from the beginning? Yes, sir. If I if I remember correctly, I think you were there from the beginning. How how uh, how has the experience been for you? Rough and still beneficial. So rough and rewarding. Yes, sir. The training was uh, was hard. You had to do a lot of physical activity. Basically. So you feel like you fit. You more fit uh, being in the, uh, the the core than if you were not in the core. Um. Kinda, kinda. Yeah. Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of exercises you uh, you have to do? Um. Well, physical. We have to actually get up five o'clock in the morning to do running. Um. Sometimes if we stay on camp, we have to run around. Sometimes we'll carry them out, and they have to run around like in hunt We got low estate and come back mm -hmm. to school. Push ups, sit ups, um, ball piece. Various types of calisthenics. A whole lot. Of. A whole lot. Is this something that you do every day or just at certain um, times when you're together uh, with, uh, with the core? Whenever they get together, there's physical training. Whenever there's a camp, there's physical training. Um, but it, uh, it, every day there is the, the, there's not a, a regime the every that they day, follow? The everyday part of it is uh, it's part of the discipline. They're mm -hmm. supposed to do it on their own mm -hmm. every day so that by the time they come into camp, they're fit. And uh, in the, in, during the normal training on Saturdays, 
we we normally try to do quarterly we try to do a, a physical training test so that we see their development over over the, the year how is this impact in your life um could i sound the whole the, yeah being, being a member um it had a great impact on my life in terms of me having time management skills leadership skills um teamwork and self-confidence mostly yeah discipline well of course discipline yeah. <laughs> Okay, so you, so you enjoy it. Yeah. What, what would you say to young people your age uh, about joining the Cadet Corps? Well, my age, they're kind of too old now. They're going to have to go into the officer section of it. But um, for people that are younger than me, I think that they should come in because um, they basically gain a lot of... What are the words? Experience, knowledge. Well, yeah, those Training kind of and development. Yeah. How, so what's the, what's the age range? We go from 11 to 19. 11 to 19. Yes, and if, if they're at the HLSCC um, be, and still under 19, they can remain in the core. Uh, after that, if they want to come back into the core and give back to the, to the organization, they can come back in as the adult instructors and help to keep the ball rolling. Okay, great, great. Uh, we, we gonna, I, I want to just go back over the the events, the weekly events. Okay. And then we're going to take a break and we're going to bring in uh, Minister Mitch Turnbull, who is the chairman of the board of the cadets, and find out what his vision is for the cadets in, 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 in the future. So just go over quickly. Okay, to quickly go over the, the, the activities events. that mm -hmm. we have planned. Sunday, the 9th of March, that's this weekend, this Sunday, we'll be worshiping at the King Academy Baptist Church. And the 14th is our family fun night at the Elmer Stout High School at 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. where we would have the highlight being our game show, How Well Do You Know Your Parent? How Well Do You Know Your Child? Then on the 22nd, we'll be in Virgin Gotta, where we'll be doing our field day, where the children will go out and deal with the exercises with map and compass reading. And then on the 29th, to bring everything home, we'll have a drill competition between prison officers, fire, police, and the cadets. Great. And we're looking forward to that. Yes, it sounds like a really exciting uh, Really time. excited, I, yes. I, I, I want to see the drill uh, <laughs> thing. That sounds like uh, fun to watch. I, I like to see uh, precision and, and, and all of that. Yes. We're going to take a break for, well, we're going to take a quick break uh, for take up maybe a couple of sponsors and we're going to come back with the chairman of the board, Mitch Turnbull. Keep it locked, don't go. We'll be right back. Spotlight is brought to you by Tortola Concrete Limited and H. Laverty South Community College. Spotlight. I'm here with the members of the Cadet Corps and the chairman of the board of the Cadet Corps, Minister Mitch Turnbull, has just joined us. Good to see you, my brother. Thank you, sir. Nice having you. Yeah. You're the brother on the, on the, on the go. You, uh, I, you, I you, 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 you're, done, you're done with the youths. I, I'm done with the youths. That's what I live for. That's what you live for. You're done with the youths. And, and, and I have to say that because I, I don't know who don't know by now, but... Just in case there's someone that doesn't know Just that, you're down with, <laughs> <laughs> that you're down with you. Now they know. Now they know. Spotlight told them. Yes, the spotlight is our bitch. <laughs> Good to see you. Thank you, sir. Uh, how did you get to be the chairman of the board of the cadets? That's the first question. What is, what is that about? I didn't know the cadets had a board. A board. Uh, yeah, the cadets has had a board and has a board um, since its enactment. Um, and the, the board members are selected by the council because we are governed by the Virgin Islands Cadet Corps Council um, which basically is the National Security Council with addition with the Ministry of Education uh, with the Minister of Education being forming the full body of the council so the board the board asks, acts as the liaison so to speak between the core and the Council. Wow, I, I mean that's that's interesting. This is a, a, a real solid paramilitary organization. Sounds like. Sounds well, like. Sounds, <laughs> sounds like. Sounds like. But that's but that's interesting. I had I hadn't known that. That's new information for me. So what is what what is the board's role? The board's role is to basically facilitate facilitate the instructions of the council. Uh, Major Rock here is not only 
the leader, but he's also the what's called the commandant of the cadet corps. So he is the highest ranking officer um, within within the corps. Um, and our role is to facilitate what what the cadets and the officers plan to drive, and basically help to seek funding, help to um, ask for support in arms from the community and different people, um, just to drive that vision forward, and, and also to help steer um, where they plan to go. So, so our goal for them is just to continue doing what they're doing, continue to re recruit other cadets, because um, as Major said earlier, we have about 45 to 50 young people right now in the cadet corps that you don't necessarily have to worry about in terms of the discipline and the structure that's within the core um, is just now to m ensuring that it is kept alive. You got a goal for membership? Like uh, you want to have 100 members of Cadet Corps? You want to have 2,000? I could be honest with you. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was a year ago almost. We had up to 80, 88 cadets. Um, and we were having issues with funding, um, which still presents a challenge. Um, and we're back down to the 50 mark because we couldn't get uniforms and the supplies and the necessities that you need. Cadetting is not just marching at every function and showing face. It's about a lifestyle that these young people are prepared for. Um, and the fact that it's enacted in the government of Virgin Islands speaks volumes, but the support is something that we are fighting as the board. That's, that's my main job. I will fight for these young people um, to get the resources that are needed for them to continue and recruit other members. What was the relationship with the parents? The relationship with the parents, um, the board doesn't have a direct relationship with the parents. I know a lot of the, a lot of the kids, so I wouldn't know their parents. But the the officers, the commandant and the, and, and the captain Myers and his team and second lieutenant Smith, they would have that on hand personal relationship with the parents and and the children because i think what one of the things that i've had reported many times actually in the board meetings is that parents call the major and, and the adult uh, cadets officers to report their children's bad behavior <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I kid you not. I, and the first time I heard it, I was laughing too because. But but I think but I think the, the level of respect yes. that mm -hmm. that they have, um, and it's not something that is just for show. It's something that has been proven, and over five years, it's been consistent growth and the and the support of it. And and these people do it out of the goodness of their heart, kind of like what I do a lot. But that's interesting, though. I mean, I mean, I don't know how interesting it is. I think the word interesting is certainly overused. But if you have a, a, a organization like the, the Cadet Corps, which is having such success with the youth and engendering such respect from the parents and the community, uh, and you have the, minister, the, the, the Ministry of Education and the Governor's Office and the Premier and all the politicians talking about the youth, the youth, the youth, and what we need to do to the youth, and certainly here's an example of what can be done with the youth, you shouldn't be having the struggle for funding. We shouldn't. I, I fully agree. We shouldn't. Um, but it's it's one of those things that uh, continue to plague us for, I think, over five years. Um, I've been appointed chairman about almost two years now. You have a tenure. How um, long? How long? Is your, I, mean, your I have one more year. Okay. So it's a three-year tenure. Yes, sir. And I guaranteed and I pledged my support. I gave my word because that's usually all that a man has. Mm -hmm. I gave my support that I would leave the core much better off than when I first came. Mm -hmm. And See? I mean that. They would have monies to do the things that are necessary. They have camps. They have um, different training drills that they go to to move up in the rankings, whether in Barbados, in Jamaica, in the different Caribbean countries. And our kids have been over the years doing well. But then it seems like whatever the structure is, we need to strengthen the structure that supports this very, this very entity. Okay. We are going to turn your clock uh, for, this segment, for this segment. But uh, there, was, there was certainly uh, some interesting information. Any uh, parting words, anything you want to say uh, to the
to the, to the public? Do you want to encourage anybody to, uh, to join? Well, I, 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 my thing is, um, I, I want to commend, I want to commend uh, Major Rock and his team, Second Lieutenant Smith and Under Officer uh, Thomas, and and the entire cadets, the, especially the cadets, because it's, it's about them. Um, I, I, I'm here, but is whatever I do is never for me. So I just want to commend them for sticking to it over five years, for showing face and being disciplined. A lot of them don't even know what we go through um, to get some them the things that they need. But just know that people are supporting. And hopefully, this will be a good cry for those that are involved to step up and do a little bit more and pay a little bit more keen attention. But to the general public. Um, I would encourage everybody to come and support the week of activities and every Saturday they're at the Elmo Start High School um, campus when they're not off island and and you can have your kids join if you have a problem with your kids uh, this man right here will yes, straighten it up well, yes. and they can call um, one number to, to join the, the call they could call Major Rock I don't know if he's going to yeah. give out his number on air but. <laughs> uh, I can be contacted at 468-9155 Four six eight nine one five five. Yes, it is. it's a four six eight nine one five five. If you want to have your your, 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 your son or daughter, yes, could, right. uh, could, could, could join up. I, I'm very disappointed uh, to hear uh, of the su of the success of the success of of the core, and and to hear of your, your loss of thirty members of, of young people. For the lack of funding and support from the government, I'm, I'm, I'm very disappointed to hear that. And then the government ought to be ashamed of itself. And the governor, both the governor and the government, need to be ashamed of themselves. All that governs. All that governs in the territory need to be ashamed of themselves to have an organization like this that's engendering such respect and, and, and molding our young people to be uh, disciplined, training, and very, very important aspects of, of survival and, and, and life in general uh, to have to lose 30 members. Uh, instead of building and growing, uh, to be to be to be struggling to, to maintain itself, that's that's a, a, a crying shame. Yeah. The age the age group uh, to join is 11 to 11 19. And 19 and to 19, and they can call you. They can call me uh, again 468-9155. If uh, there is the need for information, they can also visit our website. Uh, it is www.vicadets.webstarts.com. Okay. And, of course, um, you at the Royal Virgin Islands Police Force, so if they forget everything else, all they need to do is remember. <laughs> just, just ask. Uh, anyway, <laughs> everybody knows Rock, so it's yeah, no problem. Yeah, the, the Royal Virgin Islands uh, Police Force. So, you know, it's, it's good to know. And if they, want to, if they want to find out about the activities for the month, they can also call the, uh, the... Well, they can, they can give me a call, Carmel. I'm not afraid to give up my number. The number is 499-2646, and we will be able to give them information on the activities. 499 two, 2646. 2646. Yes. Great. I'm give up my number, too. Give it, yes. Yeah. Yeah. give up my number. I want to give up my number. 5 4 4 2 0 9 3 1 4 2 0 9 3 1 All the young people, um, I, I encourage, even even with the courts, I encourage the young people that are given trouble, join the cadet corps because I see I see the need for it. And also, before I leave, I want to thank the board, uh, my deputy chairman, Ms. Foy, and all these supporting members of the board who, who, show, uh, who are there with us. Yes, and our condolences go out um, to the police, the Royal Virgin Islands Police Force, on the yes. loss of their brother, uh, Foy. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Uh, I would also take this opportunity not only to offer my sincere condolences to the family of Inspector Foy, but also to the family of Mr. Nathaniel Gums, who is a former cadet as well. Okay. Yes. So uh, yeah, that's, that's uh, our sad. prayers are with their families at their loss. Yes, but good, good, good to be remembering that. Yeah, thanks. Thank you very much for being a guest on Spotlight. And Thank come back every time. Welcome. Don't wait till the anniversary, you know. Oh, you'll be back soon. Yeah, you know. Most one of the problems is that one of the problems that you're having now is because you're not coming on Spotlight and everybody not knowing, you know. Okay, well you correct that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. <Yeah. laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, we're gonna take a break for what from sponsor. When we come back, we're gonna come back with Ms. Diane Lewis. She's the uh, owner of Jamaica's Kitchen and a sponsor of the Embassy Saga uh, play by 
Oliver Samuels that's coming up on March the 15th at the Cultural Center. It's going to be a blast. It's going to make you laugh. Gonna kill you with laugh. Like we say in East End. Keep it locked right in the spotlight. We'll be right back. Also coming up, don't forget this Ashra Kwesi. We're going to be talking about African culture. We're going to talk about the origin of religions and a whole bunch of other stuff. It's going to blow your mind. We'll be right back after these words from our sponsors. Spotlight is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, the BVI Tourist Board, and CCT Global Communications.